What's up, guys? This is Matt from Eric Patriot News. Right next to me is Romeo. And today we're going to be talking about a different Matt, Matt Gates, And he did an interview on CNN with Jake Tapper, talked about uh, getting uh, McCarthy out of his seat as Speaker of the House. Because they passed the funding yesterday, yes. temporarily. Well, it's not only that. It looks like he went behind everybody's back with McConnell. He made an agreement with... Uh, uh, with uh, uh, Joe Biden in order to uh, actually send funds to Ukraine. Wow. Incredible. Even though they didn't, they specifically left Ukraine out of this emergency uh, fund the government. Yep. They're going around it. So let's go ahead and uh, listen to this uh, on yeah. CNN. He's playing for the other team, Matt. So you have been threatening to topple McCarthy, issue a motion to vacate uh, the speakership. Uh, if he worked with Democrats to fund the government with a clean CR, a clean government spending bill, which is exactly what he did uh, on, on Friday uh, and Saturday. The House gavels back in tomorrow at noon. Are you going to make a motion to vacate? Speaker McCarthy made an agreement with House conservatives in January. And since then, he has been in brazen, repeated material breach of that agreement. Uh, this agreement that he made with Democrats uh, to really blow past a lot of the spending guardrails we'd set up is a last straw. And then overnight, I learned that Kevin McCarthy had a secret deal with Democrats on Ukraine. So as he was baiting Republicans to vote for a continuing resolution without Ukraine money, saying that we were going to jam the Senate on Ukraine, he then turns around and makes a secret deal. Now, I know you and I probably have different views on U.S. involvement in Ukraine, but however you think about that question, it should be subject to open review analysis and not some backroom deal. So, so I do motion intend, to vacate tomorrow? I do intend to file a motion to vacate against Speaker McCarthy this week. I think we need to this rip week. off the Band-Aid. I think we need to move on with new leadership that can be trustworthy. Look, the one thing everybody has in common is that nobody trusts Kevin McCarthy. He lied to Biden. He lied to House conservatives. He had appropriators marking to a different number altogether. And the reason we were backed up against the shutdown politics is not a bug of the system. It's a feature. Kevin McCarthy's goal was to make multiple contradictory promises to delay everything, back us up against shutdown politics, and at the end of the day, blow past the spending guardrails. Boy, is he right on point. Yep. yep. That ho the whole agreement they had whenever they made him speaker, he has done nothing to fulfill it. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Right. He's actually worked against them. He's yeah. making backroom deals with Biden. And the whole reason that this temporary fix to D.C. and funding was acceptable is because it wasn't giving money to Ukraine. So not only are we giving money to Ukraine, not only that, our border still stays wide open. There's no border security in anything. Yeah, I think both you and I weren't real keen on McCarthy being speaker anyway, but yeah, they, they need to, re they absolutely need to replace him. And uh, Gates has got 15 chances he can bring this. It's, it's time to throw McCarthy out. I mean, I, I'll say this, I'll give him this. At least he went ahead and let them investigate by the Bidens and uh, everything else. He's done that. But when it comes to other promises, like releasing January six tapes, hasn't happened. He said he was going to release them all. Hasn't done it. Uh, let me think. Having uh, a bill, uh, having bills with only one thing on the bill at a time hasn't happened. Allowing tw uh, 72 hours for people to review the bill hasn't happened. I mean, you keep on going on and on and on, and he's broke every promise. Hey, so even specifically with that one thing of 72 hours to read the bill, it's like, this is like wipe your ass level common sense, okay? And you want to say example of that? This very bill that they just passed is a very example of it. Exactly. You, you, absolutely on point. McCarthy is an enemy of the party. Yeah. He's, he's basically a rhino, and that's being kind. Make a backroom deal on Ukraine. <laughs> oh, man. I'm like a cartoon caricature where my head is flaming. Well, guys, this is the end of the video. We really appreciate it. Hit the like button, comment, and share this out to everybody. We'll be live tomorrow morning at 9.30 a.m. Central Standard. We've got a great show planned for you, so please join us and have a wonderful rest of your day.